Every year, people around the world want to help those in need. Yet, one billion people suffer from chronic hunger. Why? A large portion of this population are victims of natural disasters, causing failing infrastructures to prevent secure food delivery to remote locations around the world, creating a broken food system. How can we help? First, you need to think. Think like an engineer. In order to think as an engineer, you must first identify the problem. Begin to generate ideas. Compare and evaluate possible solutions. Then, build a prototype. Test it and tell the story. Refine your design and change the world. Yeah! But how? Our challenge at the 2014 4-H National Youth Science Day is to build a secure and safe food delivery system. Imagine an island named Ceres. This island was hit by a severe storm creating damage of historic proportions and cutting them off from food. Our solution? Rockets to the rescue! Let's apply engineering methods to our food delivery crisis. First, identify the problem. How can we get from point A to point B? Generate ideas. Look across. Can we go by ground? Look to your sides. Are there other possible routes? Compare and evaluate possible solutions. Look up. Eureka! An endless open space of possible solutions. Rockets to the rescue! By practicing engineering methodologies, we can build a rocket prototype to deliver food securely from one location to another. First, build the rocket launcher. One, attach PVC caps to end of five inch pipe pieces. Two, insert the two five inch pipe pieces with the caps into each end of a PVC T connector. Three, Insert the two inch pipe piece into the open connection of a PVC T connector. Four, connect the second PVC T connector to the other end of the two inch pipe piece. Five, insert one end of a 12 inch pipe piece into the other end of the PVC T connector. Six, attach the PVC connector to the other end of the pipe piece. Seven, insert a 12 inch pipe piece into the open connection of the PVC T connector. This will be the launch tube. Eight, insert the 12 inch PVC pipe piece into the mouth of a two liter bottle. It will be a snug fit. Nine, secure the pipe to the bottle using a four inch long piece of duct tape. 10, insert the other end of the 12 inch pipe piece to the PVC connector. Next, build a propulsion system. One, place a PVC rolling tube at the narrow end of the one sheet of cardstock. Two, roll the entire sheet of paper tightly around the rolling tube. Three, seal the edges of the cardstock paper with packing tape. Four, place a rubber cork into one end of the paper tube. Tape the cork to the tube. Leave the other end open. This is the part that will go over a tube on the launcher. Five, place the propulsion system back on the PVC rolling tube. Try sliding it back and forth on them to ensure that the propulsion system hasn't changed diameter or is too tight. If so, you will need to start over. Now it's time to get creative. Use your imagination and design your food transportation device so it's aerodynamically shaped and capable of carrying a specified payload of food items. When you prepare for launching, think about the angle of the launcher and how high to jump so you can reach your target. After you test your food transportation device, track your results and think about ways you can make your rocket even better. Then, refine your design and test it again. Now you're problem solving like an engineer. 
Now that you've taught your youth about the experiment, share what you're doing with others across the country. Register your event today at www.4h.org backslash NYSD register to celebrate your team's success and learn more about 4-H science, technology, engineering, and math programs. So what are you waiting for? It's time to take off.